Bit Banana Girl here. Today is day 13 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And today's topic is teeth. Um, teeth whitening actually and my personal teeth routine. So I've got my toothbrush. It's a recycle brush. It's vegan. Doesn't have any pig hairs. Can you believe some people are, you know, most toothbrushes are made out of like pig, pig hair? So most people are brushing their teeth with pig's hair, which is weird. So I've got my toothbrush. And by the way, this routine has come about only since I've been eating some starches, some steam starches and stuff like that, because it becomes stickier on your teeth than fruit sugar. You know, fruit sugar is like a massage on your teeth, fresh fruit sugar. It is good for your teeth. The bad thing is when people eat fruit on a dehydrated system, or if they eat a lot of dried fruit, which can become sticky and stick in there. All right, so what I do firstly is take my toothbrush, and I've got my tooth powder. Okay, you want to look that up online, just EcoDent tooth powder. You put a little bit on there, okay? Just a little bit, this stuff lasts forever. Okay, and wet it. Everybody knows how to brush their teeth, right? So I don't need to go through the teeth brushing um, demonstration. So I just brush them with this. And this is what I'll do every night or, you know, mostly just once a day, sometimes in the morning, but generally just once a day. You don't want to overbrush your teeth, overbrush your gums. That can actually get rid of the enamel. And you want your enamel to be there. That's really, really important. Okay, so a couple of times a week, you know, kind of just lately, I've been in the past of being against baking soda pretty strongly and I'm still a little bit iffy about it, but a couple of times a week I will do a little bit of baking soda in here. A little bit of baking soda and a little bit of water. Put a little bit on the toothbrush and just go over all the places where you want it to be whitened. Because I think this is a really good option for people who are considering chemical bleaching or zoom whitening. This is a natural way to do it. And look, you don't want to be doing this every single day because baking soda can be fairly abrasive on your teeth because it is removing stains. And if you do it too much, it may remove a bit of, bit of enamel. But if you're desperately wanting whiter teeth, then you can do it. So the other thing that is part of my tooth whitening routine is banana peel. Look at that old banana peel. Yes, I get it, the inside of the banana peel and I massage it into my teeth. That's right. I've been doing this as well and I find it really effective actually with the baking soda. I think it's a really quite an effective way to whiten your teeth. But you have to do it consistently and you have to do it long enough to see a difference. So get the banana peel out folks and start rubbing. The thing about in nature, our teeth would not have been really white, like this Hollywood smile. You go and look at animals in nature and they've got yellowish tint to their teeth. There isn't any gleaming white smiles. So maybe just be a little bit realistic about your goals when it comes to teeth whitening. Mine may look really white in this light, but they're, they're still a little bit on, you know, they're a little bit tinged, but they're fairly white and I think it's very natural looking. For me, personally, the fake Hollywood smile, I, yeah, that really, really white, I don't like it. I think it looks really, really artificial. So, I also will use this brushing rinse, which is hydrogen peroxide 1% food grade. It's for healthier gums, to sensitivity, whiter teeth. So, when it's in my mouth, I'll do a little bit of a brush as well. So like I was saying earlier, I was not actually cleaning my teeth much at all when I was eating 100% raw food because they were really fantastic and they still are, but I'm taking extra precaution. And I have mercury fillings, yes, but they are from when I was like six years old. So I have had no cavities, no fillings since being a raw vegan for the last over six years. So that's a fantastic testament. And people have to remember that like cavities can take years and years to develop. So if you're coming to a fruit, high fruit lifestyle and you get some pain, it's likely that the sugar, which is concentrated, is highlighting a cavity which you had developing. That's what happens. You put sugar or you put salt, something concentrated on a developing cavity, and it's like the fruit sugar is going to highlight 
that problem. Fruit sugar doesn't cause the actual cavity. Okay, there's so many other things, so many sticky things that you know, aren't like fruit sugar at all. They're very processed, very chemical laden foods and we're coming from a lifestyle like that, many of us. So don't blame the fruit. Remember, so many dentists in the world. It's not because there's so many fruitarians in the world. There's not, there's not many of them at all. So make sure you just... I think the number one thing that I have learned since researching about teeth is dehydration. A lot of people are dehydrated and that is causing a lot of teeth problems because it's affecting the saliva production in the mouth. So if there's not enough saliva, if your teeth aren't bathing in saliva, then you are going to end up getting teeth problems if that happens consistently. So make sure you're hydrated, peeing clear 8 to 12 times a day. Ask any dentist. Hydration is so important when it comes to teeth health. Another thing you've got to really watch out for is the tannins in tea. Okay, they can strip the enamel off your teeth. And also, dried fruit, it is not optimal. You know, it's not going to cause cavities in my eyes, but it is sticky and if you're doing it all the time, every day, continuously, then you may run into problems, but that's likely to do with the dehydration, again, that is caused by the, the dried fruit. So, yeah, that's just about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, help spread the word, and comment down below, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 13, no, 14. And don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. I'll see you there. Bye. Don't fruit yourself.